Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will solve one very interesting example based on scrambling. In my last video, I have explained fundamentals of scrambling. Here we will solve one problem. So first of all, let me read the question over here. See here in question, we have a data stream of triple one, five times zero and one that is given to scrambler. So you can observe here we have a scrambler circuit where input data stream that is given that is triple one, five times zero and one. And here we need to identify output of scrambler. So output of scrambler is T that we need to identify. Here we need to assume initial content of resistor is zero. So you can observe here we have five bit resistor D1, D2, D3, D4 and D5. Initial content of this resistor that is zero. See this question that can be solved in two ways. One is manual calculation that is bit tedious and there are higher chances that you may do error. So you should follow standard process that I'll explain step by step in this video itself. So here if you observe output that is T. So that is modulo 2 addition of input and feedback. Right. So what is this feedback? See this feedback is D3 into T plus D5 into T, right. So my transmitted sequence that is S plus feedback. S is input and feedback is T into D3 plus T into D5. Always remember here plus is modulo to addition means it is XOR operation. It is not addition, it is XOR operation means it is modulo to addition. Now here transmitted sequence that is addition of input and feedback. So here you need to understand what is feedback. The reason is feedback will change with respect to bits. Like if you talk about initial condition, then initially all these bits are zero, right? All these bits are zero. So initially my output T with zero bit delay that is having feedback that will be zero, right? So what is my output T? That will be input only, right? So if you talk about zero bit delay, then with zero bit delay, my output is T naught that is input S only. But if you talk about one bit delay, right? Then with first bit delay, what will be my feedback? So that feedback will be s into d to the power 3 modulo to sum with d to the power 5. See here this is feedback right. So this feedback that will be this initial data of input s into d to the power 3 plus d to the power 5 right. Here see we are talking about shifting. So that will happen with respect to bits. So in digital you should write d to the power 3 with this d3 and d to the power 5 with this d5 right and modulo to sum of that here see this feedback that is a function f that is d3 modulo to sum d5 right so here we are saying that this f is d to the power 3 modulo to sum with d to the power 5 right now if you talk about second bit delay feedback then with second bit delay feedback this t2 feedback that has to be s into f square right and if you talk about third bit delay feedback then that will be s into f cube so what will be my in total transmitted sequence that will be algebraic sum of t0 plus t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so on, right. So my transmitted sequence that has to be t0 plus t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so on, right. What is t0? That is s. What is t1? That is s into f. What is t2? That is s into f square. What is t3? That is s into f cube, right. Where f is feedback that is d to the power 3 plus d to the power 5 right so let me substitute that over here so t naught is s t1 is s into f 
T2 is S F square, T3 is S F cube and so on. Right. Now what I'll do is I'll take S common. So here we have 1 plus F plus F square plus F cube and so on. Right. Now you need to understand what is F. See F is D to the power 3 modulo to sum D to the power 5. Right. Now we need to understand what is F square. So here F square is F into F, right? So what is that? D to the power 3 modulo 2 sum with D to the power 5 into D to the power 3 modulo 2 sum with D to the power 5. So here we will be having D to the power 3 into D to the power 3 that is D to the power 6. Then D to the power 3 into D to the power 5 that is D to the power 8. Then d to the power 5 into d to the power 3 that is d to the power 8. Then d to the power 5 into d to the power 5 that is d to the power 10. Right. So that is how we have a sequence. Now one should know in XOR. See if you have XORing of same bits then that will be 0. Like 0 XOR 0 is 0. 1 XOR 1 is 0. So one can say d to the power 8 x or d to the power 8 is 0 so you can neglect this so d to the power 8 is getting cancelled as it is appearing two times so this will be d to the power 6 x or d to the power 10 right now what is f cube that we need to understand so f cube is f into f square right what is f that is d to the power 3 x or d to the power 5 and what is f square that is d to the power 6 x or d to the power 10 right now we need to resolve this so d to the power 3 into d to the power 6 that is d to the power 9 d to the power 3 into d to the power 10 that is d to the power 13 d to the power 5 into d to the power 6 that is d to the power 11 and d to the power 5 into d to the power 10 that is d to the power 15 right and here all this value of d to the power that is different so nothing is getting cancelled now we need to stop from here we don't need to calculate f to the power 4 now question is why the reason is if you observe data stream so that is triple 1 5 times 0 and 1 so how many bits are there there are in total 9 bits right as it is having in total 9 bits here d to the power greater than 9 that doesn't matter over here right so here if you observe see with f to the power 3 minimum power is d to the power 9 so if you perform f to the power 4 then but obviously greater than d to the power 9 will appear so you don't need to go for d to the power 4 and so on right now let me explain this transmitted sequence see here we have f so i have substituted f is equals to d to the power 3 plus d to the power 5 then we have f square over here that is d to the power 6 plus d to the power 10 then we have f cube that is d to the power 9 d to the power 11 d to the power 13 and d to the power 15 now let me rearrange this here you can observe we have d to the power 9 and here we have d to the power 10 so i'll write down this in sequence right so now in sequence it is there see 1 x or d to the power 3 then d to the power 5 d to the power 6 d to the power 9 d to the power 11 and so on right now you need to understand this transmitted sequence see here i have told you that see how many bits are there in sequence in total 9 bits are there in sequence right so here greater than d to the power 9 that will not matter over here means in this transmitted sequence see this much data that is useful data for 9 bit sequence greater than d to the power 9 that is not useful so this data is useless data for calculation right now we need to understand calculation so in calculation here if you observe we have s x or s into d to the power 3 x or s into d to the power 5 x or s into d to the power 6 x or s into d to the power 9 right so that we need to understand now what is s c s is triple 1 5 times 0 and 1 right so let me write down that over here 
सी एस इज ट्रिपल वन फाइव टाइम जीरो एंड वन नाउ वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एस इन टू डी क्यू राइट सो वॉट इज एस इन टू डी क्यू सो हियर देर विल बी डीले ऑफ थ्री बिट्स सो देर विल बी पैडिंग ऑफ जीरो थ्री टाइम्स एंड देन ट्रिपल वन फाइव टाइम जीरो एंड वन राइट सिमिलरली एस इन टू डी टू द पावर फाइव सो इन विच देर विल बी पैडिंग ऑफ जीरो विद फाइव बिट्स सो फाइव टाइम जीरो देन ट्रिपल वन फाइव टाइम जीरो एंड वन सो दिस फाइव टाइम जीरो दैट इज डी टू द पावर फाइव राइट देन वी हैव एस इन टू डी टू द पावर सिक्स सो हियर एस इन टू डी टू द पावर सिक्स मीन्स फर्स्ट सिक्स बिट्स आर जीरो देन s that is triple one five times zero and one. Then we have s into d to the power nine, right? So here s into d to the power nine means nine zeros are there. After that we need to repeat this sequence as so here nine zeros are there. Then triple one five times zero and one, right? Now here you need to understand few basics. See here what is transmitted sequence? Transmitted sequence that is based on input sequence. Input sequence is having size of nine bits. So, but obviously, transmitted sequence that has to be there with nine bits only. So, after this much data, everything is useless, right? So, over this side, we don't need to calculate anything. Here, we need to calculate this much data only, and this much data that we need to calculate as per this modulo to addition, right? So, how to do modulo to addition? That is XOR operation. so that xor operation that we need to calculate over here so here you see 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 so in xor operation we need to see how many ones are there so 1 one, 1 one is there so over here there will be 1 here also 1 one, 1 one is there so over here also there will be 1 here also 1 one, 1 one is there so over here there will be 1 so that is how one can understand this right so you can observe with first column Total ones are one. With second column, total ones are one. With third column, total ones are one. With fourth column, total ones are one. With fifth column, total ones are one. With sixth column, total ones are two. So that is zero over here. Then over here also two ones are there. So this is zero. Over here also two ones are there. So this is zero. Over here also two ones are there. So this is zero. Right. So this will be my transmitted sequence. That is five times one. Then four times zero. Right, so this is how one can follow standard process. Right, always remember, as and when you solve this problem based on scrambler, then first of all you need to see how many bits are there. Nine bits are there. So in calculation, see you can use this equation directly. In calculation, you can use this equation directly, where this f that is feedback. This f is feedback. Right, and in exam. you may have different scrambler circuit like you may have six bits right so over here there can be different connection so over here you need to identify what is algebraic sum that can be d to the power 2 x or d to the power 4 x or d to the power 7 that is how scrambler feedback may be given to you so that feedback that you need to see first and then F square, F cube, F raised to four that you need to identify. But where you need to stop? You need to stop at maximum value of d. Here d to the power nine that is at max value, right? So after this, whatever we are calculating that is useless. So here we need to stop, and then we need to add all this and arrange that in sequence. and after d to the power 9 everything is useless so we are ignoring this and we are calculating for this much data only right and for this much data here you will be having s into d to the power something so d to the power something that is what shifting and that one can have by having zero padding right even if you don't write anything over here in zero padding then also it is fine right then also it is fine there is no issue with that but sometimes what happens if you don't write something over here then also i have seen students are doing mistake so to avoid those mistakes i used to write zero padding and then you can solve questions i hope you are enjoying my video still if you have any confusion
जस्ट प्लेस दैट इन कमेंट सेक्शन आल बी हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो